Hi to everyone. Welcome again here to a short explanation about the twin Kepi motor. What you see is this motor is running using at the moment 16.8 volts from a power supply and consuming so between 8 and 13 milliamperes. So the engine is running now. I've made a little change. Now we have more magnets. I will stop it. And you will see that we have more magnets in there. I have four pieces. One, two, three, four. The engine is still controlled by the read contact down there, triggered by, uh, by the small magnet over here, on, stuck on the axis. And we have two coils around 115 meters, 0 0.2 millimeters copper. We have the motor set up, we say, between 4 and 44 volts, and that uses 7 to 27 milliamperes, and we can reach 2,240 revolutions per minute. So this is the basic circuit. So you see how the read contact is disrupting the current that goes into the coils. And we have around 28 milliwatts to 1.2 milliwatts, which is consumed by the engine. It's not under load. So an interesting thing here now is that we have a, a small little Kepler motor here which is completely disconnected. I just take it away. It has no current. It's just connected to a lamp, an LED. And if we put this here, just close to the to the other motor, taking the cables away, you will see that there is a magnetic interaction when the bigger motor starts to run. So we'll put some voltage there. And you see, I will help it to move. Put it a little bit closer. Let's see now. So now you see it moving just due to the magnetic interaction with the bigger motor. The LED lamp shows that the first small Kepler motor here is working as a generator. I will increase the voltage. We have now 13.4 volts. I will go up say to 16.6 volts, consuming around 9 to 13 milliamperes, and see how the generator is producing enough current and voltage to light the uh, LED. There you are. Put it like this, so better to see. And we check the preamps. So we're measuring now. Now this is not right. Should be here. We have around 827, and the little one shows a little bit less. Uh, oh, it's the same 823. So you see that both engines are moving at the same speed. There you are. 828, 823. I will increase the voltage. Go very high. 
say to 30 volts consuming around 30 volts and 16 milliamperes and we will measure the RPM so here we have around 1600 1800 1590 and you will see that the little generator stop because it can't catch up with the frequency it's too high so what I will go I will go down in the voltage there we are and then see the little engine will start moving again and we'll go up again So there you are, you have the two engines moving. There you see the two coils, one on the bottom, one on the top, as shown in the picture, the diagram I'll show you later. So there you are again. Thanks for checking this and see you next time. Twenty volts and around say thirteen, fourteen milliampers DC current. Thanks and see you next time.